we know you are a former 24 7 champion. And, and unfortunately, that 24 7 championship was thrown in the trash on an episode of Raw weeks ago. Nikki Cross beat Dana Brooke for it, dumped it in the trash. The lineage is over. What do you think in, about that? In the trash can. How about that? That is so wild. You can see some people like that title and some people not so much. Right. I think it's the judgmental people who are like, well, when I watched, we had the hardcore championship. Yeah, but you know what? That was also like PG uh, TV 14. It was a little different versus PG programming trying to bring a little back something that was in the past to the present. But some people will so just always stick their was, nose up. That was actually what I was supposed to do with it. You know, I was saying that the 24-7 title was the, the run and hide title. And I went in and I... I pitched, why don't we make this thing a little bit more like the hardcore title back in the day, make it a little more legitimate, have a little fun. And if, you know, truth is obviously that was, that was his title. No right. one will fight that. So if we have this dichotomy of pushing it towards fun and entertainment and pushing it more towards hardcore, that might be a little fun back and forth and we can check all the boxes at the same time. But we started ahead to that path and then things, uh, changed when when plans were updated and uh, unfortunately we never got to that point but that would have been cool i know i remember crash holly in the ball pits fighting the headbangers inside of a chuck e cheese like that to me was oh a lot goodness. of fun um i talked to dana brooke weeks ago and i asked her before I was tossed in the trash what do you want to do with this title what do you want to do she actually wanted to transition it into like a women's intercontinental title so we would have more championships for the women to fight for unfortunately that did not happen, and now the lineage is forever in the trash. Like Medusa tossing that WWF Women's Championship on Nitro in the trash. Nikki Cross will go down his history in 20 years. Yeah. People will be like, Nikki, why'd you do that? Why did you, you know, do I, that? I thought it had so much potential, too, because all these titles, they kind of have the same exact rules. Yes. So there's no classifications for them. So this is actually one... That was different. Anytime, any place, anybody. Like, I thought that was pretty cool and we could have done so much with it because other than the tag team titles, what title is – they're all the same kind of thing. I mean, obviously, some have more prestige than the other, but – What's really the difference between, you know, the WWE title, the Intercontinental, the U.S. title? Like, it's all, you know, more or less anybody could have them. It's not by weight class. There's not different qualifications. It's the same. That's true. It, the only thing I could think of is if they had, like, a triple threat championship. Obviously, it'd be triple threat matches. You know, that that's the yeah. only way you could produce a different outcome. You know, pinfall, submission, DQ, countout. Really, yeah. beyond that. You're kind of stuck in a, a hole thing. of wrestling has been the same rules for so long, but yet somehow it keeps going through time and changing a little bit. But the rules, the rules somehow stay the same, but the 24-7 championship gone forever. I will later on pour out a drink for it. I will lay flowers at its grave, but it was I thought it was a fun title. I did. Yeah, hell yeah, it was fun. And but, I think people people didn't really uh focus on that part. They they took it too seriously. I think uh, everyone that held it knew what it was. And, you know, it was fun. And it was on you to kind of make it different and try and take it to the next level. But, yeah, a lot of people just could, couldn't see that. A little too short-sighted, I'll say. Right. Well, they also would always, unfortunately, in perspective of wrestlers, when you see certain stars go for a title, they look at that championship and go, well, that doesn't mean as much as the world title, as in, I love our truth, but he's not fighting Roman Reigns. Yeah, well, I mean, you know what I mean? Uh, and and I think that's the perspective of a lot of fans being like, well, well, why do I care? If, if they don't care about these wrestlers, why should I care about this title? And I guess it goes hand in hand a little bit, but it was a lot of fun. I wanted more ball pit matches. That's all I'm saying. 